Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome back, friends. Welcome back to another video lecture by Kami Microbiologist. So, in different video lecture, uh, we talked about the blood smear or blood film. And in the first video, we talked about what is blood film, blood smear. It is present into my channel. And in the second video, we talked about an isocytosis. In the third video, we talked about variation in RBC color. Now, this is the fourth video lecture that is regarded to the blood smear. And in this fourth video lecture, we are going to talk about pyokilocytosis okay uh, pyokilocytosis means variation in rbc shape in the previous video we talked about uh, the variation in rbc uh, size variation in rbc color now this is actually the variation in rbc shape we call that pyokilocytosis uh, there are different types of the pyokilocytosis uh, the first type is called as a target cell the target cell are also called as chondrocytes uh, okay now this target cell or chondrocytes are mainly occur uh, due to the iron deficiency anemia it is due to the thalassemia sickle cell anemia hemoglobin c disease liver disease so these are the main condition in which target cells will be present and how the target cell will look like this is the target cell now this is the field of microscope and the field of microscope when you see the blood smear so it will be look like in this one these are the rbc so when the rbc have a red uh, this is the red uh, or when rbc have this point uh, in the middle portion uh, just like it have a nucleus although it do not have a nucleus but when we you see rbc this is the first picture second third so when you see rbc in this form we call that target cell or chondrocytes then we have spore uh, spherocytes uh, means uh, spherical in shape when the rbc are in the spherical shape we call that spherocytes uh, and the spherocytes of the rbc will be present in case of genetic disorder hemolytic disease cholestridium toxin so these are the main condition in which cyprocytes are being seen then we have ovulocytes or elliptocytes ovulocytes means the rbc or oval in shape and elliptocytes means the rbc are pencil cigar rod or rod like shape so this is the elliptocytes now the elliptocytes and ovulocytes these are happen due to the condition of megaloblastic anemia in the disease of iron deficiency anemia myelofibrosis so uh, this is the condition in which the ovulocyte and electrocytes will be happen now these are the cells of ovulo uh, ovulocyte uh, sorry these are the cyprocytes so it is spherical in shape as you can see this is what this is the cyprocytes now this is the electrocytes it is like a cigar in shape this this is the first picture second third these are the cells as you can see so this is what this is the elliptocytes then we have stomatocytes stomatocytes are also called hydrocytes so, so hydrocyte or stomatocytes these cells will be you know uh, occur in a different conditions so the first uh, condition is that due to the acidic blood ph due to liver and rh null disease alcoholism so these are the three main condition in which stomatocytes or hydrocyte cells will be present then we have schistocytes or we call that helmet cells okay so this helmet cell or schistocytes will be you know present in case of iron deficiency anemia megaloblastic anemia thalassemia hemolytic uremic syndrome now these are the uh, stomatocytes in uh, stomatocyte cells have uh, you know uh, slit uh, means uh, this is the slit white pale center but it will be look like in a slit form it means that the rbc are divided into two form okay it will be look like in this form so this is the field of the uh, microscope uh, of the blood smear and when you see this field it is called as stomatocytes so these are the stomatocyte blood cells now these are the system uh, helmet cell or we can say schistocytes so schistocytes will be look like in this form if you see it so it look like be in a helmet form then we have uh, echinocytes or we call that birth cells so echinocytes or birth cells 
will be present in case of uh, alkaline pH, uremia, hemolytic kidney and liver disease, vitamin E deficiency. So these are the main condition in which echinocyte will be present. Then we have echinocytes. We call that spur cells. So these cells will be present in case of severe liver disease, m uh, mycloid pain, uh, phenotype, lipid metabolism uh, disorder. Now this first picture is actually the echinocytes. Echinocytes will be look like uh, that the RBC have uh, you know uh, spikes. These are the spikes or needle appearance in the RBC. This is called echinocyte. Although the echinocytes will be look like also just like echinocyte but the difference is that the spike in this case will be you know very sharp if you see. So this is called as echinocytes or spur cells. At the eighth one is called as uh, py pyropyculocytosis. So pyropyculocytosis means when the RBC uh, are look like elliptical or spherical in shape as you can see. These are the RBC. This is the elliptical or some of them are the spherical. These are the spherical RBC. Then we call that pyropyculocytosis. Then we have sickle cells. Now these are the sickle cells. C C shape okay sometimes C shaped or sometimes you know uh, very uh, thin uh, RBC as you can see these are the RBC so when the RBC are this is also called sickle shape so when the RBC are in a sickle, sickle shape uh, or uh, C like shape uh, or uh, you know uh, very thin so we call that sickle cells and the sickle cells uh, means a thin curve or elongated cells and it will be happen due to the mutation in beta globulin genes known as HBS hemoglobin S okay so this is called as pyropyculocytosis so this is about uh, this is all about the pyculocytosis in the next video then we will talk about different uh, cells and, the, and their condition that in which condition these cells will be present i hope this video is helpful for you thank you so much for watching